If you've ever wanted to flip houses, especially flipping houses out of state, you're going to want to tune in to today's show because I am going to break down the numbers on a real flip in a line-by-line -line basis. We are going to be using a real property, real numbers from my company, an actual construction company that you can hire. So, Kenny, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, and folks... Holton Wise TV is all about providing you guys with transparency into the real estate investment space. Lots of people on the internet, lots of shows, radio shows, YouTube shows, Twitter shows, fucking TikTok shows, whatever, dude. People are out there on social media. They're talking to you all about getting rich, investing in real estate, trying to have you guys make some money in real estate. That's cool. We do that, right? But that's not revolutionary. This is where we differentiate ourselves from them. We do it with real deals. We are real property managers, real real estate brokers, real investors. I own a real insurance company, a real title company. My company does real contracting work. So everybody else, they're just talking to you about theory, education. We take it one step further. We give you that theory. We give you that information, that education, and we do it in a non-fluff type way, man. We tell you the bad, the good, the ugly. Check out the Tennis from Hell show, as a matter of fact, if you want to see some ugly. We do all that, and we set you up with real, actionable deals. These are actionable, actual, sorry, actual deals you can do. You know, not just theory, right? They're just like, yo, Buy our products, our education on this theory, but then you get into the real world, and how do you put it all together? You don't have that problem here with us, right? So, flipping, dude. Everybody wants to be a flipper, right? Everybody wants to be a flipper. You make a ton of money flipping houses, right? HGTV, Tarek, Christina, you know, all types of fucking flipping shows, right? Dude, uh, what was that one? The dude ended up being like a, a fraud guy. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? I think we're going to do a show on that guy, actually. I just, I just thought of that right now. I think his name was like Scott Menendad or something like that. It was like uh, Property Wars. They would like all bid in the homes in, in Arizona. Well, I saw the one dude. He was on American Greed. He was actually uh, running a fraud. So we'll probably do uh, an episode on the Landlords from Hell show about that guy now that I think about it. But... Back to what I'm trying to do today. I'm trying to talk about this flip from my dude, Kenny. Kenny, I think this one's going to work for you, brother. 8614 Fernhill Avenue, Parma, Ohio, 44129. Just listed for six days, six days ago, at 109900 This is the cheapest house listed in Parma. Kenny, you said you got about hundred grand. You want to stay around $100,000 for your acquisition costs, and you got some more money. Uh to do the renovations, okay? So I thought this would be perfect. Parma's a big old city, bro. It's like 80,000-something people in Parma. Perfect, nice place to flip properties when you have a budget like you do, okay? The cool thing with Parma, it's it's if you notice, we don't do a lot of rentals on this show, okay, in Parma because the pricing in Parma, it, it's it's kept high by the owner-occupied market. As a matter of fact, the street, uh, Fernhill, I used to live on this street, okay? I bought my first house when I was 21 years old, right? 8412 Fernhill. It's down the street from this bad boy, okay? I bought that when I was 21 years old. That was the very first property I ever bought. That's how I got started in the real estate investment space. Back then, I was managing a fucking radio shack. You ain't seen none of those sons of bitches around here no more, do you? I was managing a radio shack. I moved my brother in. I built a basement apartment. He lived there for a little bit with me and my girlfriend, who's now my wife. I still own that property today. I lived there for seven years, and I still own the thing today. I'm actually renting it to people right now. I believe they're paying me like 1075 a month, something like that. Um, you know, They've actually been there for like four years. So it's a very good rental property for me. But pricing is a lot different today than it was back then. 
Okay, so you don't see a lot of rentals on the show in Parma, but it's going to work for flips with what you got. Now, what we have here, okay, you can't pay 109900 even though that's the cheapest house in Parma, dude. That's not going to cut the mustard. I'm going to show you what you have to pay, and we're going to work backwards, okay? Now, pricing. As I said, it's different today in 2020 than it was back when I bought my first home. Was it was like 2009, I think that was, okay? Pricing's different. When this thing is all put together, brother, we could sell this for $145,000. And I'm going to show you how to work backwards with the limited information we do have to figure out the correct purchase price, the most money you could pay. Because I want you to make $25,000 on this flip. Now, of course, if you're happy doing a flip where you walk away with $20,000, we could adjust accordingly. If you want to only do a flip, if you make thirty dollars or thirty-five dollars or $40,000, you can adjust your purchase price accordingly. But I think $25,000 is a reasonable profit expectation. So, if we can sell it for 145000 and you want to go ahead and make $25,000, what can you pay? Well, the first big, huge expense that you need to understand is going to be the renovation, right? That's, that's what we do when we flip houses. Now, unfortunately, we did not get any additional pictures from the listing agent, a very very basic low uh low effort put into it listing right just one picture however we can see some clues like the outside of this property i already understand that we're not going to really need to do much so on our chart where i've got the full renovation breakdown for you i'm going to be going a little bit out of order just as i talk um, so try to follow along towards the bottom you see that yard uh, low end, zero. High end, zero. This yard is fine for this particular neighborhood. What we're going to need to do here, it does not look like you're going to need to do anything in the yard. As far as that driveway goes, the driveway looks adequate, so you're not going to need to replace a driveway or anything. Now, normally we'd uh, look on the inside and, and see what's going down, but we can't do that right now. But that's not the end of the world, okay? Because, like, I think a lot of people think that, like, you could salvage some of this or some of that. When we're doing a flip, I mean, we're pretty much like going over the whole thing anyway, right? So let's just go back to the top of the chart, okay? And we'll, we'll try to go, you know, top to bottom now, okay? So on the low end, we're going to need to paint and patch walls, okay? So low end, that's going to cost 35 High end, that's going to cost 65 right? Now, if we did have some pictures of the inside and I seen like a bunch of fist holes in the wall I know we'd be closer to the high end right we gotta do more patching right shit's all fucked up it's gonna be closer to the high end but we don't have that information so no we're approximately 35 to 65 and then of course we gotta do the floors dude you're always gonna have to do the floors if they had brand new beautiful refinished hardwoods we wouldn't have to worry about that but what are the odds it's gonna happen guys probably very very low right so on the low end 4k on the high end 6k a lot of these old houses they have nice hardwoods even if there's carpet in the house right now there's probably gonna be hardwoods under it the reason there's a deviation is maybe the floors are real real fucked up like there's really deep gouges in them right so four to six k for that and then the kitchen the kitchen is what sells the house guys the kitchen and the bath okay so whatever they got in this old tired kitchen because like look I talk to sellers every day, man, and we'll ask them questions like, yo, what's up with, you know, we're you know, trying to, you know, the way they want us to buy the properties, we'll ask them, like, when the last time their kitchen was renovated. And they'll be like, oh, it's a new kitchen. Newer kitchen, they'll say, updated, recently updated. We're like, okay, great. Recently updated. When was that? And it'd be like 10 years ago. Dude, a 10-year-old kitchen is not a recently upgraded kitchen. You need brand new modern kitchen, right? So, we're going to spend approximately ten to $12,000 on what that's going to get us, okay? We're going to do new kitchen cabinets. A lot of these Parma houses have, like, original old cabinetry. We're going to do new fresh cabinets, probably white cabinets, Home Depot, Lowe's-type quality. We're going to put new vinyl flooring in the kitchen, right? So the refinishing of the hardwoods, that's through the uh, rest of the house. Uh, we're going to do vinyl allure in the kitchen. We're also going to do that in the bath. We're going to put on new countertops, right? Think a nice stone countertop, undermount sink, and we're going to put some appliances in, dude. You're selling these homes. Do not cheap out on the couple grand to get the stainless steel appliances, guys. Buyers 
First time home buyers, this is a great first time home buyer market, dude. They go into that kitchen, they see fancy, nice kitchens with fancy, nice appliances. That's when they make their buying decision, okay? So 10 to 12 is about what we're going to spend there. Go into the bathroom, going to do, you know, upgrade that bathroom, man. We're going to, usually we got the, like the one piece shower tub surrounds, assuming we have that here. Uh, in, you know, all these Parma homes, I very rarely see anything other than that. We're going to spend three to five. We're going to reglaze all that, get a new toilet in there, the same vinyl floor that is in our kitchen is going to be in our bathroom. New vanity. So we're spending three to five there. Next, we got the roof, okay? Uh, I could, you know, from the photo, it doesn't look too bad, but I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Listing agent didn't give us much information. On the high end, if we do have to replace it, we would have to pay approximately $8,000. But I don't know for a fact if we need to replace that, right? So on the high end, it would cost us eight k. Now, this is going to be something like the above stuff I give you guys. That's stuff I know we got to do. The next things like this roof, these are things I don't know. So... We're going to, of course, do all offers contingent on third-party home inspections. So we're going to go in with the assumption with our offer price, assuming we don't have to do the roof. So we're going to put a zero on the low end, but on the high end, that's going to be $8,000. So when we get it inspected, if it turns out the roof's in like decent shape, we don't need to uh, go ahead and replace that bad boy we can continue forward with the offer price that I'm going to give you. If not, we need to get a price adjustment, right? So the roof, we're going to go in assuming no issues, but if we had to replace it on the high end, the most it would probably cost would be 8 Gs. The furnace, I don't have any information on the furnace, but we don't have information that the furnace itself is bad. If it was bad, we'd need to replace it. That'd be 3. They have air conditioning in this house. If you're going to flip homes, you need AC. No information to tell us the AC is shitty, but if it was, that'd be four. Hot water tank, no information, but if we had to replace it, that'd be another thousand. No information on the electric panel, but if we had to replace that, that'd be two. And then the windows, that would be four. So as of right now, what I'm seeing here, okay, I'm seeing approximately $20,500, okay? So, if we're going to sell this thing at 145 and we're going to do $20,500 of renovations, when we sell it at 145, we're going to need to do 7% commission, so that's we're going to factor that in now. That's going to be 10,150 and then of course you got closing costs, so that's going to be another 1450. So what that means, Kenny, if we can sell this thing at 145k, and what I see right now, the twenty thousand five hundred plus the closing costs and commissions, you can pay up to eighty-seven thousand nine hundred with the information we have right now and net out a twenty-five thousand dollar profit, purely passive investment. But again, we have to get it inspected. That's step one. So right now in the bidding process, eighty. Uh, what was that number again? Eighty-seven thousand nine hundred, brother. That is the most you could go in and bid on this thing, and that's going to be contingent on inspection. So then, when the inspection happens, and we find out issues, if things come back, like say the inspection comes back, and we get new information that the furnace is fucked up, well, that's three G's. So we would need to ask the seller to provide us a three thousand dollar credit. If it turns out we need all new windows, we would need to lower that price by 4000 So say everything's all cool, but the windows are jacked. Instead of 87 9 86 8, 5, 8, 4, we could pay 83 9 You catch my drift? That's how we're going to do that, right? We're looking for those major things. We're not looking for anything cosmetic. We're looking to, to have them tell us what these big ticket items are that we have to spend, right? Like you take the foundation, right? I don't have any reason to believe that there is foundation issues with this property. But if there are, dude, it gets costly, right? Like if you're doing the foundation and there's foundation issues on like this wall where there's grass, you're looking at like 150 a foot. If it's on the driveway side, that's like $250 a foot. So we would need to make those adjustments as they come up. But right now, we could comfortably lock this sucker up for 87.9 and move forward. Here's the thing with flips too, right? I get a lot of people wanting to do flips. That's great, guys. I know you guys love the Cleveland market because prices are cheap. I mean, you could flip homes with relatively limited capital. I know you're trying to flip houses in like California or something. <laughs> you probably need like half a million to a million dollars in cash to try to do a deal. So here you could get into the flipping game. But guys, it's a numbers game. 
you're going to have to make a lot of offers. This is the cheapest home in Parma, and it is listed. How much was it listed for again? Like 110, right? 109,900. The most we can pay is 87,900. So we have to lock this thing up for like $20,000 under what the seller currently wants maybe they accept it maybe they don't it's going to be a numbers game you may have heard people say you got to make 100 offers before you do a deal not necessarily the case when we're talking rental properties but when we're talking flips i'm not saying you got to make 100 offers but you know equity and just a lot of money it's not just sitting on the trees like hey yo mr kenny from fucking california come take twenty five thousand dollars out of our pocket we don't fucking want it Right? That's not how it works. We got to do some work. And when you're doing flips, knowing your ARV, right? That's incredibly important. That's step one. Understanding your renovation budget, step two. Getting a team to do that renovation for you, step three, right? We covered all that for you, right? But the big thing, too, getting the seller to agree to your price, which is what we just worked to, that's going to be. Um, you know, that's going to be the variable, right? We can't exactly predict if they'll say yes or no. So that's why it's good that you ended up getting a multi-property package from me because we're going to need to analyze a lot of deals before we can actually put a flip together for you, right? I would love for you to be like, yo, give me a flip where I make 25 k and then I just do one video and you get it because obviously you're going to buy it through us, so we'll get the commission there. And then when you sell it through us, we'll get that commission, right? You know, there's a $10,000, $150 paycheck coming to the agent that sells this house for you. I would assume that'd be Holton Wise. As far as title work, you know, there's, you know, title work and closing costs that has to go. Of course, I, you know, I have uh, the hookup at title companies too, right? So that's money in my pocket. But that's the thing, dude. That's what we do differently here at Holton Wise than other places. We got to give you real world examples and set you up for real world expectations, right? Not a hundred percent chance the seller is down with our plan. So we may, you know, get our offer declined and we got to move on to the next one and the next one. We want to put as many lines in the water as possible when we're trying to flip homes. Okay. So this is going to be step one of this particular property. I suggest we try to get it under contract at 87.9. And of course, we make a contingent on a third party home inspection. And then, if we see any issues come up, that's where I'll get to work. I'll try to renegotiate the price with the seller. And you had asked me another question, too. You were looking into doing flips and you're curious about foundation issues and how you can tell. Some properties, they'll give me pictures on the inside, and I could usually tell if there's going to be issues. But this is just step one of our due diligence, right? This is the desktop analysis. We're doing a lot here, but. We also need to get a third-party home inspector in these properties to go over everything with a fine-tooth comb. And then once we get that information, I'll be able to help you adjust our price accordingly. So, Kenny, brother, that is all I got for you on today's show. Let us know what you want to do. If this isn't what you're feeling, give me some feedback, and on the next video, we'll adjust accordingly. Everybody else, if you are interested in flipping houses or buying rentals and you want to work with me and my team one-on-one, -on -one, go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, order an MLS search analysis package today. Again, I highly recommend the ones where you get multiple properties, especially if you're a flipper. If you're a flipper, guys, again, there's not just like, twenty thirty thousand dollars of equity and it's like oh you want thirty thousand dollars of profit great let me fucking get that for you here you go not that easy not how it works in the real world i know other people on youtube might try to tell you otherwise but we're talking real world here guys it's going to take some work it's going to take some time it's going to take some effort so Get a package if you'd like us to help you with all of that. And one more thing, if you're a new viewer out there, make sure you smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. 
The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.